Well, it was Friday, April 10th as the sun, sun was coming up. Now the police pursuit reached speeds of close to 130 miles an hour and ended in a crash that sent both vehicles flying through the air. This all started when a U.S. Forest Service officer saw the driver of this black truck blow through a stoplight on the shoulder of Highway 71 in Fort Smith. State police got involved about 17 minutes later as the pursuit went into Sebastian County and then back into Fort Smith just before 7. Trooper Michael Sean Ellis is the lead patrol car when the driver of the truck swerves into oncoming traffic on Zero Street. You can see the unsuspecting drivers narrowly missing the truck. That's when the state police supervisor gives the order to stop the truck. At speeds of more than 100 miles an hour, the vehicles crash and go airborne. Trooper Ellis's camera stops after hitting the utility pole. In slow motion, you can see the truck roll on its side and then launch Trooper Ellis's car in the air. Police and bystanders run to help. Police say the driver of the truck, 34-year-old Justin Battenfield, died. Trooper Michael Sean Ellis was released from the hospital and is home recovering. He's been a trooper with state police since 2016. And the state police policy has a lot of uh, criteria when it comes to police pursuits, such as the dangers and risks to the public, and as the roads and traffic congestion in the area. Live in Fort Smith, Brett Rains, 4029 News.